G'day Paul here, down at Lake Macquarie near Newcastle at the Pines Caravan Park where we have parked and camped here for a week or two, right on the waterfront. Lovely place and we give thanks to God for that. But today we're reading a little bit more from Psalm 119 from verse 145. <coughs> I call with all my heart, answer me, Lord, and I will obey your decrees. I call out to you, save me, and I will keep your statutes. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. Hear my voice in accordance with your love. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your laws. Those who devised wicked schemes are near, but they are far from your law. Yet you are near, Lord, and all your commands are true. Long ago I learned from your statutes that you established them to last forever. Oh, hallelujah. The word of the Lord does last forever. 153. Look on my suffering and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your law. Defend my cause and redeem me. Preserve my life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your decrees. Your compassion, Lord, is great. Preserve my life according to your laws. Many are the foes who persecute me, but I have not turned from your statutes. I look on the faithless with loathing, for they do not obey your word. See how I love your precepts. Preserve my life, Lord, in accordance with your love. All your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart trembles at your word. I rejoice in your promise like one who finds great spoil. I hate and detest falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous laws. Great peace have those who love your laws and nothing can make them stumble. I wait for your salvation, Lord, and I follow your commands. I obey your statutes, for I love them greatly. I obey your precepts and your statutes, for all my ways are known to you. Hallelujah. All my ways are known to you. Thank you, Jesus. And finally, we read the last section from verse 169. May my cry come before you, Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. May my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. May my lips overflow with praise for you teach me your decrees. May my tongue sing of your word, for all your commands are righteous. May your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. Let me live that I may praise you and may your laws sustain me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commands. Wow. Oh, we've all strayed like lost sheep. But we just, we love the Lord and we love his word. You can do nothing better for yourself than meditate on the word of God. It's wonderful. It will bring you peace. It will bring you knowledge. It will bring you understanding. And will help you. It will comfort you. It will guide you. 
This is where you commune with God himself. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So as we sit here today, sun going down over the lake, uh, Lake Macquarie, we are in communion with the living God. This is not just a book. This is the Word of God. It is God himself speaking to us. You get into the Word, and may the Word get into you, and you have a great day. Thank you for joining with us. God be with you and bless you. See you later. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.